Ahoy there, pirates. Amir, or one falcon, here for Mare Thief. Briggsy is searching for an ancient and dangerous relic, the Skull of Sirensong. To ensure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands, Briggsy is asking every crew to join in the hunt for a quick recovery. If you accept her quest, you'll start a fearsome competitive voyage, the Skull of Sirensong. With only one reward on the line, it's a race to find the skull, open the chest it's locked in, and bring it to Briggsy before another crew beats you to it. So what exactly is the Skull of Siren Song Voyage? The Skull of Siren Song is a multi-chapter competitive voyage available to all pirates in adventure mode. During the voyage, you'll challenge other crews in a race to claim and deliver a single artifact, the Skull of Siren Song. Unlike other voyages, where each crew has their own maps that no one else can see, the Skull of Siren Song Voyage is shared amongst every crew that starts it. That means that every crew competing in the voyage will receive the same maps and fight over the same treasure. Since the Skull of Siren Song Voyage occurs in adventure mode, your ship can sink multiple times without you forfeiting the race. You can also encounter other crews not participating in the voyage that might get in your way. There's only one skull per voyage to fight over, so only one crew can deliver the skull and be crowned victorious. So how do you start the Skull of Siren Song Voyage? You can only start the voyage when it becomes active on your server. Like world events, the voyage is on a time schedule and you'll need to wait for one to activate. However, the voyage is on a different schedule than the world events. So, for example, a Skeleton Fleet world event and the Skull of Siren Song Voyage can be active at the same time. When the voyage becomes active, you'll receive an in-game toast letting you know it's available, and a ghostly note from Captain Briggsy will appear on your ship's main mast. Interact with the note to accept the voyage. If you don't want to participate, you can ignore or interact with the note to cancel it. Canceling the voyage will remove the note from your ship's main mast. Nevertheless, even though you cancel the voyage, it will still occur for everyone else on the server. Now that we know how the voyage works, it's time to sail on to our step-by-step -step guide. To start the Skull of Siren Song Voyage, interact and read Captain Briggsy's note and choose the dialogue option, Accept Quest. Once your crew accepts the quest, Captain Briggsy will appear on your ship to explain the voyage. The voyage has three distinct chapters, the hunt, the extraction, and the race. After Briggsy wishes you good luck, she'll give you two X marks of spot maps, the same two as every other crew, and you'll be ready to start the first chapter, the hunt. During the hunt, the competing crews must dig up the chest and key of Siren Song. Now that Briggsy has given you the maps for your voyage, you can open up your quest radial to look at each. You can pick out the Skull of Siren Song maps by the Siren Song icon. You should see one map for a large island and one for a small island. One of the maps will lead you to the chest of Siren Song and the other to its corresponding key, the key of Siren Song. You'll need to bring both items together to use the key on the chest and reveal the skull of Siren Song hidden inside. Choose a map, sail to the island, and dig up the X. Remember, you won't be the only one sailing to the island to dig up the key or chest. Digging up either will trigger an ambush of coral skeletons you can fight or run from. If you only have one Siren Song map in your quest radial or receive a notification saying that another crew has claimed the key or chest, don't worry, you can easily track it down. When a crew digs up the key or chest of Siren Song, it will shine a blue and purple beacon into the sky and a corresponding marker on the map table will appear for all competing crews to see. Only crews on the voyage can see the beacon and markers. So, if you dig up a key or chest, prepare to be tracked as you attempt to collect the other. Whether you dig up both or need to steal one or both from another crew, you'll need both to open the chest. So, follow the maps, beacons, or markers to collect the key and chest of Siren Song. To prevent any mischievous crews from hiding the voyage items, it's not possible to take the key, chest, or skull inside a Siren Shrine, a Siren Treasury, the Reaper's Lair, the Athena's Fortune Hideout, a Tavern, or a Fort Vault. If you attempt to bring any of the Voyage items to one of these locations, you will automatically drop the item at the location's threshold. And no, you cannot bury any of the Siren Song items. Once both the chest and key are out in the open, it's time for the extraction. If your crew digs up both, 
You'll skip this part of the voyage, as you can open the chest immediately. However, if you only have one or neither, you must use the beacons and map markers to track down both and extract the skull. Of course, you could also wait for another crew to remove the skull from the chest and attempt to intercept it afterwards. When a crew uses the key on the chest, the chest will automatically open and reveal the skull. Like the chest and key of Siren Song, the skull of Siren Song will shine a beacon into the sky and be marked on the map table for all competing crews to see. This mysterious artifact, the Skull of Siren Song, is much more than a piece of treasure you must deliver. The Skull of Siren Song is a weapon. Like the Ash and Wind Skull, holding right trigger on Xbox or left mouse button on PC will cause the skull to emit a shriek that will damage any foe who steps in its path. Don't worry about using the skull. Unlike the Ash and Wind Skull, using the Skull of Siren Song will not decrease its value when you hand it in. While using the skull as a weapon can be an advantage, Having it on your ship comes with a huge disadvantage. The Skull of Siren Song is also cursed, and will slow down any ship it's on. There's no way to remove the curse other than taking the skull off your ship. And no, you can't hang onto your ship's ladder while holding the skull, or put it in an attached rowboat to get around the curse. The curse affects each ship type differently, ensuring a balanced experience for all crews. So, the amount each ship slows down will allow slower ships to catch up during a chase. For example, the Skull of Siren Song slows down the Brigantine most, as it's the fastest ship. The Skull's curse extends the land when it's not on a ship. When the Skull is on land, coral skeletons will constantly spawn, attempting to thwart you on your voyage. Once a crew opens a chest and uncovers a skull, it's time to deliver it to Briggsy during the final chapter, the race. At this point in the voyage, new crews cannot join and the note will be removed from every ship not yet participating. Back to the race, Briggsy will be on a randomly selected large island. However, Briggsy will only appear on the island when the Skull of Siren Song reaches the island, so you can't scout ahead to find her. The island where you'll find Briggsy will emit a giant swirling vortex of blue and purple light, making it easy to spot. You will also see it marked on your map table and every competing crew's map table. Only competing crews can see the Swirling Vortex of Light and Marker. You can only give the Skull to Briggsy, so don't try selling it to the trading companies as you won't be able to. Once you reach the island, you must search for Briggsy, while an onslaught of coral skeletons attempt to slow you down. Briggsy will be in a random location somewhere on the island, possibly even in a cave. Listen for Briggsy's voice to find her, as she beckons you to give her the Skull. The louder her voice, the closer you are. If you feel like you should be right on top of her, check a cavern below or a cliff above. When you find Briggsy, approach her and hand her the skull. You will complete the voyage and earn 50,000 gold for successfully handing in the skull. If you are not fortunate enough to deliver the skull, you can try next time the voyage is active or on another server. There are several accommodations for the voyage that you can work on to unlock unique rewards, such as Briggsy's mask and the Skull of Siren Song sales. The first commendation is the Seeker of Siren Song. There are five grades you must achieve to complete this commendation. To reach grade five and unlock the Skull of Siren Song sales, you must dig up 50 chests or keys of Siren Song. However, digging up just one will complete grade one and you will earn the Skull of Siren Song flag. The second commendation is the Sentry of Siren Song. There are five grades you must achieve to complete this commendation. To reach grade five, and unlock the Skull of Siren Song figurehead, you must unlock 40 chests of Siren Song. And the third commendation is the Savior of Siren Song. There are five grades you must achieve to complete this commendation. To reach grade five and unlock Briggsy's mask, you must return 30 skulls of Siren Song to Briggsy. However, handing in just one will complete grade one and you will earn Briggsy's jacket. If you have any questions, comments, or wild stories from the race, be sure to leave a comment below. See you on the sea, pirates.